さんですので始めさせていただきます。はい、すみません。よろしくお願いいたします。はい。えー、こんにちは。OK <笑>。いつあいや、グッドアフタヌーン。いや、いつ、いつ、マイグレートオーナーとチェアダーキーノートセッションバイプロフェッサーマサルキツレガワ。あ、actually、uh,。He, he was supposed to come here, but、uh, yesterday,、uh, yeah, the secretary of his secretary emailed me. Yeah, he couldn't, he cannot come、uh, because of some、uh, med, uh, health reasons. Yeah, so,、uh, <clears throat> but、uh, now I think it's okay for online.、Uh, let me introduce、uh, Professor Kitsuegawa. Yeah, he graduated. The, At the、uh, University of Tokyo and received a PhD at the same university. And after that, he worked at the University of Tokyo. And then, since、uh, 2013, he worked as a Director General of the National Institute of Informatics for nine years. And then now he is the president of the LOIS.、Uh, it's short for Research Organization of Information and Systems in Japan, which is the meta level organization,、uh, consists of four national institutes such as informatics, polar research,、uh, genetics, and statistical mathematics. He made a mu <laughs> numerous、uh, distinguished achievements in the database research area、uh, over the long period and received the Uh, ACM Sigma、uh, Code Innovation Award, which is the most prestigious、uh, award in database system research. When COVID 19 started、uh, in 2020,、uh, and also I all,、uh, jointly、uh, started the、uh, online symposium about、uh, online education in Japan. But still, it, it, it is continued uh, over. Uh, 70 times, yeah. I'm sure he would、uh, de deliver the very、uh, cute、uh, Ochame <laughs> keynote lecture. And okay, so let's welcome Professor、uh, Kitsuregawa. First of all,、uh, thank you very much for the uh, introduction, uh, very nice introduction to me. and uh, uh, Okata sensei, I'm very honored to be here. And also, thanks for giving me a very exciting opportunity talking about what we did、um, uh, during the COVID 19 time, especially for the education areas. I think、uh, uh, he already、uh, introduced myself, but、uh, I I had better confess a little bit more. First of all, I'm not an expert on pedagogy at all. I'm just a computer scientist. So I presume the audience or attendance in this conference is basically interested in、uh, education areas. But unfortunately, I'm not, I do not have、uh, enough amount of knowledge on that area. So, please allow me to talk a little bit more wider media on the digital and the COVID 19 type, what we have been doing, what we have been serving, and so on and so forth.、Uh, if we say in one sentence or one word what happened、uh, when the COVID 19 came to us, Basically, we can say that it's a big shift from、uh, physical world to the cyber world. I mean, almost all the physical activities h a s to be done over the cyber world. For example, if we eat something、uh, before we went to the restaurant and、uh, with your friends or with your parents, family, And eat something. But now, what we're doing is we usually use Uber Eats. By the way, Uber Eats is becoming very popular in Japan also. And then、uh, some person brings us, b r i n g the home, the, the, the food. And then in the house, we eat something. 
So the activity, all ordering the flows uh, is done over the cyberspace. Of course, the delivering uh, itself is in the physical space, but the key part, almost everything is shifted to the cyberspace. Then uh, one of the most important things in cyber systems is in the network. I'd like to show the uh, signage which we are operating. We call this is a, a science information network. It's abbreviated to the signage. Uh, more than 1,000 universities and research institutes connected to these networks. And uh, uh, network bandwidth is uh, extremely fast, uh, 400 gigabits uh, per second. And uh, uh, this number is extremely big. In our country, uh, we have uh, at home FTTH, private to the home, so that's why most of the home has uh, 100 megabits per second connection. Recently, uh, how can I say, more advanced customers or user uh, use one gigabit lines, but the 10 gigabit line is extremely big. So 400 gigabits and 100 megabits, if we compare 4,000 4, times faster, who use such a fast network? That might be uh, one of the most curious questions. And uh, 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 actually, uh, just a moment, uh, we, we will answer that. By the way, uh, uh, we did the various efforts uh, during the COVID-19 time, including remote educations. We do have to talk about that. Uh, by the way, uh, until the end of this March, uh, I served uh, NII's directors. NII means the National Institute of Informatics. And uh, as you can see here, this is a very uh, tall building. This is very tall building, and uh, actually 22 uh, stories. My, my office is uh, top floors. And the location is very close to the Tokyo station. It's the heart of the Tokyo. This is the Tokyo station. So we, we are here. So the one meter by cab is very close to here. So if you have a chance, uh, please visit us. One of the most uh, uh, exciting things here is we, we do have a very nice view. So this green part is basically Emperor's place. So Imperial Paris, and we, we have the house and also the big garden. Now is autumn time. So the uh, color of leaf change is uh, a very beautiful thing from here. And uh, uh, I served uh, 10 years and then shift. Uh, now, as uh, Ogata Sensei mentioned, I'm currently is ahead of the alloys. Uh, this is in Japan, it's called the Inter University Research Institute. Inter University means a little bit complicated, but uh, what this means is that one university cannot keep or cannot maintain such an such a big uh, uh, infrastructure, as I mentioned, Sinet is one of them. Or the other example is, uh, for example, a telescope is one of such examples. So all the universities uh, come to, to the telescopes and share the equipment and so on and so forth. Those functions we call the inter-university research institute. And there are actually four such kind of organization, and Royce is responsible for the digital. I'm currently uh, president of this. A president means is uh, usually used for the universities, uh, but uh, uh, Minister of Education uh, uh, usually for the president of this inter-university organization also. By the way, uh, since I only six months passed, so that's why I'm 
not used to the environment of this organization. And uh, I want to show you some building uh, pictures here, but uh, not necessarily exciting. So that's why I picked up uh, one, one of the most uh, exotic buildings uh, very uh, recently is, uh, established. Maybe Ogata-sensei, you may not know this building. This is called the Azabudai building. Most of the expensive places already owned by Chinese people, not by us. <laughs> Japanese people is becoming very poor and the yen is very going down and so on and so forth. By the way, uh, our building is, uh, our uh, voice is very close to uh, this building. Not, we are not in this building. <laughs> we are very close to it here. Anyway, if you uh, tell me, now you are in Matsue, uh, far from Tokyo, but you have a chance, please visit us. And uh, uh, I, I'm not sure uh, the audience or the participants is to some extent uh, related with uh, digital technology or computer science. And uh, if my assumption is true, then everyone knows about so-called the CSM, communications of the ACM. You see the top, what can I say? Uh, this is not, not journal, uh, uh, but magazine of the uh, Association for Computing Machinery. This article is uh, July 23rd, in the this year, so we have uh, one article uh, introducing the activities of Na National Institute of Informatics. At that time, I mean, uh, this manuscript was written when I was a director of it. So you have a chance, please also uh, look at this one. Uh, Ogata has mentioned Royce is different from NII. He actually precisely described that. But uh, this is more easily interpretable one slide I prepared. So NI is uh, one part of the ROIS. But in addition to that, we have uh, yet another institute, for example, National Institute of Genomics. Uh, say a uh, genomic company is almost all are located in the Silicon Valley, which means uh, the manipulating the data is basically IT, the digital technology. So, so, so we are very close to uh, our area is very close to each other. And in addition, we have a national issue of the polar research. Nowadays, uh, climate change is one of the biggest concerns for human beings. And observing the uh, Earth environment itself is uh, uh, down by the, the this is South Pole, by the way. We have a very big base over there. And uh, NI is uh, building a more system, and we are very good at programming, but not necessarily strong mass. So uh, this institute is an uh, institute of statistical mathematics. So all four together is uh, doing somehow very interesting stuff. And we are covering these four, four, four research areas. By the way, just a moment ago, we, I mentioned about the signage is uh, connecting 1,000. And uh, uh, this one is upgraded, as you can see, the 22nd. So during the COVID time, upgrading 100, before we have a 100 gigabit, and then a 100 gigabit. Uh, during COVID time, uh, it's very difficult to 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 this transformation, but eventually succeeded. And, uh, the big change apparently is the network itself. However, uh, if you carefully uh, see the difference between these two pictures, we have uh, we built uh, from uh, 20 seconds the data platforms. I will show you a little bit more. By the way, this is a density of the network comparing other countries. Maybe China is expanding, but still in the uh, network connection is not that easy. So this is Australia in the Silicon Valley. The size of the Silicon Valley is compared to Japan. The size itself is normalized here. It's not that big. Italy is cheap. 
So our signing is densely uh, covered over our uh, Japan. You can uh, easily understand by these pictures. And uh, again, so I, I, I mentioned about the 4,000 times faster as a usual network at the moment. Who, who use this? As, uh, this is uh, so-called big science. For example, um, this picture shows uh, high energy physics and uh, Kobayashi Maskara theory. So we won a Nobel Prize and recently you know, Nobel Prize uh, invented the neutrinos, the super and so forth. These are the main uh, users and uh, also the supercomputers like a K supercomputer is now upgraded to Kugaku. This is uh, world number one out of 100 uh, uh, supercomputer globally. And those are connected uh, uh, to, it's a necessary, it is necessary uh, to, to prepare the hyper networks. And our country is a uh, country of aspects. So every day we have aspects, basically. So that's why the, a lot of lots of sensors are distributed to our our countries, and all the data is coming from the astronomy. And the astronomy is yet another uh, interesting uh, or the data intensive science. Uh, uh, we have a, a portion of the shell uh, in the Atacama Arma uh, Telescope. So the data has to come from the South, South America and then the North America and eventually come to Tokyo. So the signet has to connect the uh, global network also. This is a little bit delicate net, uh, pictures, but uh, we are connecting to, of course, uh, America, but also to EU. Uh, and uh, uh, we, we have a connection to the Singapore, and Thailand, and also Australia, through the Guam, and so on and so forth. So all these kinds of uh, complicated network operation is done by MMA. And the uh, previous one is a fixed network. We do have a, a mobile network also. Recently, we introduced a so-called private 5 g uh, Again, this is becoming popular. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, we, we, we introduced a data platform here. The reason is uh, uh, so many people attention start to pay attention to the so-called open science. This year, we have a G7 summit uh, in Hiroshima. A leader summit in Hiroshima because our Prime Minister Kishida was born in Hiroshima. Uh, so that is one of the major reasons. But the Science and Technology Summit is not in Hiroshima, but in Sendai. Sendai is a, a, a March 11 earthquake happen, place. So this is a, a message, a so-called communique. And they said uh, G7 will promote uh, open science and uh, repeatedly disseminating science knowledge publicly funded research outputs and so on and so forth. And uh, this one is uh, science and technology uh, instant meetings. It's uh, again saying the open science. And this is interesting is uh, research data in the scholarly publications. Scholarly publication is uh, usual papers in our sense. So the data is in front of the paper. This is a big change, and I'm not sure how many people know about this keyword, FAIR, F-A-I-R. Uh, this, this is one of the key, key uh, phrase recently, uh, recently used. What is a FAIR? Is a, uh, for example, data is becoming very important, but the data, if we are not able to, or other researchers are not able to find then we can do anything. So the, the data or paper has to be findable, and accessible, interoperable, and reusable. Those, those are the kind of uh, requisite for the research. It, and then uh, why uh, such a high-level uh, political people highlighted fair is uh, 
There is one report from the EU. Uh, European Commission said that uh, if the data, uh, I mean, uh, uh, if we we don't put any proper uh, metadata and the explanation or description about the data, the data is there, but uh, other people cannot use that. It's uh, totally useless. So that's why uh, the data doesn't follow this uh, fair principle. We have to pay uh, another uh, 10 billion euros. And uh, if it includes uh, infrastructure level, it's just another 16 billion. Totally 13 billion extra money has to be paid. So that's why the researchers has to prepare uh, the data in a proper fashion. And from the researchers' point of view, uh, we are now in the uh, uh, data-driven science age. So observation science, analytical science, computational science means uh, this is a supercomputer science. But uh, we are now shifting from so-called uh, supercomputer science to the uh, data-driven science. And that is the reason why uh, usually recently, if you submit a paper to some prestigious journal, you have to attach the data. I mean, the data is evidence of the papers. And then uh, our reviewers can check the data. Why this is becoming so popular is, uh, uh, by the way, this is uh, Elzebia's journal. We NII checked around 3,000 Elzebia journals. And the mandatory is not so many, but uh, a lot of journals ask that the data submission is uh, highly recommended. Why this happened is a uh, uh, lancet gate. I mean, even in uh, COVID pandemic uh, age, uh, a certain person submit a paper, a little bit of strange paper from many reviewers says, this, this is strange, why this happens? So show me the data and so on and so forth. But they eventually, uh, the authors totally detracted the paper. So this is really unfortunate. However, uh, such a proper data manager must be introduced and this becomes a very important. NII in our countries, NII is a, a central of uh, uh, to manage or to control the de data repository. So what this means is uh, if the research is funded by the public agencies, I mean, uh, the research is done using the tax money, then that researcher has to submit the data, everything, all the data in, in, in NII's uh, research data platform. Uh, this uh, is determined in the uh, year of uh, 2021, but uh, the operation starts from next year. And uh, so, so we, 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 we have, uh, uh, we are always writing this triangle one is uh, uh, data or paper publications, and uh, the other one is uh, discoveries, and the other one is control. And for example, publication side, uh, several, not 1,000, but uh, more, more around 800 university and research issues already using the in uh, the services. Originally, government uh, asked each individual universities do publish publish your uh, research content by yourselves. However, the small university I cannot do that. So they ask us, uh, why you know, I want to do uh, uh, starting the such kind of uh, hosting service, and then we support it. And most of the universities start to use that. Russia is uh, uh, even the university they develop by themselves uh, their own system, uh, shifting from their own to our services and so on. So this is uh, uh, already the common service. And the other one is, uh, this is search engines. Uh, actually, uh, signing search is used more than the people in the academic domains. The other uh, portion is the research data management side. Is, uh, data is very important. So that we want to control 
This data I want to share with, say, for example, data senses, but not with other people and so on and so forth. So such kind of fine grain uh, control sharing, and if the paper is accepted, it is, uh, it is a goal. You know, we immediately after the pub publication, we have to make the data also, make it open and so on and so forth. Such kind of automatic uh, control is totally managed by the software. However, as I mentioned, uh, when the researcher has to handle the data, uh, he has to be metadata equations and the data has to be tension. Say more, you have to keep them around at least 10 years. And uh, if there are integrity uh, a, a issues and uh, the data has to be secure, securely set uh, stores and the data management plan has to be uh, prepared for the fund uh, submission and so on and so forth. So, so many things has to be done. And then are we uh, uh, published? Uh, we, 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 we developed the various kinds of tools, uh, uh, like uh, uh, data governance to data creation to secure computation to and so on and so forth. This is uh, so complicated, so I'd like to skip this. But uh, one thing I want to say is uh, this slide is uh, for the research part, uh, we are now uh, building and starting uh, to do the service and already, as I mentioned, 70 universities are using research data cloud. But here I want to say we are, uh, want to do the same kinds of research also for the educational service, which means uh, uh, if you do the, uh, the class, the course, and then we obtain the log record and the learning record. And then we prepare the uh, some analytic tools. And then uh, uh, professors uh, change the teaching styles of the materials and so on. So forth. this is a kind of groups. Uh, this uh, uh, actually we will show later the Osaka University using of its tools, and uh, uh, this is now starting. Uh, Professor uh, Ogata Sensei mentioned that we started uh, to help the uh, uh, online education just uh, uh, COVID 19 started in mean, the year 2020. Let me I'll go back in those times. I'm sorry, uh, in the year of 2020, it is called uh, COVID-19. So COVID-19 started in 19, but uh, no one knows about the COVID virus problem. Now, uh, we noticed this is a very serious uh, uh, disease. I think uh, almost all the people noticed it uh, already in, in uh, 2020 instead of 2019. The early January, I was in actually in Beijing. Um, actually, I was awarded as a honor member of the China Computer Federation. I think uh, I, it is very important event. So I have, I had a better award to the Chinese, even though there is a little bit danger for the COVID problem. So I asked to Amen. Amen is a Japanese version of the NIH. And they say, Professor, it is a little bit complicated situation. You have to be careful. We have uh, some information that some person is the was in uh, uh, Wuhan airport. He stayed only three, three hours, but uh, he got really sick and so on and so forth. But uh, uh, we stay, I stayed one night over there and I got a lot of information with the Chinese people and actually the graduate students who are staying in China and actually the professors in China. And then I returned to Japan and we, uh, fortunately, one of uh, my graduates is a professor of the Wuhan University. So I contacted her and uh, what are you doing? Uh, what kind of education system is actually deployed in Wuhan and so on and so forth. And then uh, mid-February, uh, we have, uh, uh, I, I was uh, president of the database society in Japan. 
And uh, early of the March, uh, we are planning to some uh, domestic symposium. And uh, mid-February, mid uh, one, one of the program organizers came to me, Professor, shall we hold the symposium or cancel? Which should we move? That is a question to me. And then my answer was, no, no, we should hold the symposium in uh, in the digital ways and uh, so we decided to the uh, uh, cyber symposium but uh, uh they said professor it, it's a very risky because only two weeks do you think we are able to implement that now, of course no one knows but let's do that and uh, the conclusion is actually uh, 600 uh, parties more than 600 participants this is the first time to hold uh, 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 such kind of big uh, cyber symposium in the countries. And it was really succeeded. Let me explain a little bit interesting. So presented uh, is, an, uh, for example, Kyushu. And the audience is dispersed over entire countries. The chairman is in, uh, say, Maceo or Hokkaido. So uh, this is logically possible, but uh, no one knows whether this is implementable or not. But NI has a very uh, strong experience of the, uh, the Cisco solution. That's why we used and uh, it's interesting from uh, me. Oh, just a moment. Um, uh, so, this is not my PC, so uh, NII is becoming hard, and uh, so uh. Intentionally, we, we took a pictures uh, 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 that's uh, not, not so many students, but in reality, there are a full of the students, and each student dedicated, dedicated to the individual sessions. Yeah. And uh, it's a very interesting place, so that's why uh, many people came to see what's happening and how to handle this. And these uh, people are coming from Ministry of Education, and this person is uh, Information Processing Society of Japan. This is the Japanese version of the ACM. And many, uh, lots of other people came to see how we are organizing this. And, uh, this one is the president of the University of Tokyo. And uh, what we showed is the, everything is uh, becoming visible and interesting. So this is, uh, this color is different session. For example, this session have uh, Six. So it's more more audience, but this is very small audience and so on and so forth. This is morning session and this is the first session of the, the afternoon. We have one more, so on and so forth. And uh, uh, one of the most important things we, we could run is uh, uh, is a break time. Uh, there are uh, uh, lots of presenters who are taking care of the kids. And uh, younger generation people have to handle their families. The Japan, the shape, as I show you, is a very long. So that's why the distance uh, from the home to the conference space, it takes a long time and also it costs a lot by introducing such kind of digital environment. That saves a lot. And not necessarily just uh, taking care of the baby. Uh, nowadays, people have to uh, take care of the senior uh, elderly people. A lot of, lots of headaches. You know, I think digital, uh, to some extent, helps a lot. So this figure is very interesting. Uh, this is a uh, number of participants of the year of 2020. Actually, it's dropped because uh, this is March, 2020 March. No one knows about uh, what is the COVID, COVID influence and so on and so forth. So 
they has to do a lot of other things. So that's why the participants are decreased. But look, uh, year 2021, uh, since the digital participation makes attendance much, much easier, so so many people can now uh, could attend the symposium. We, we are now 2022, 2023, and uh, the number of participants is increasing and increasing. So this is a reality. And uh, we asked the CCF, China Computer Federation, uh, as a key person, it's not, not president, but the kind of the head of the secretary. We, we did this kind of thing. Have you ever heard about the uh, same activities in China? And he said, no, uh, I've never heard about it. So maybe this might be one of the earliest trial. I, I, I shouldn't say, or I couldn't say this is number one at all, but uh, this is one of the most early trials. Then what we thought is actually we are, uh, at that time, Ogata uh, Sensei uh, says, you know, from this April first, we have to start the, the, the class education. You know. What we should do? When I, at least we succeeded uh, this uh, conference. This is only six hundred, but uh, almost all the national universities around uh, ten thousand. So how to handle uh, this big number of the students? Of course, we are very happy to. To, to show our experience, which we obtained in this conference, uh, why don't you make up uh, some symposium? And then uh, we just started March of the 2020, uh, before the April 1st. Uh, this is all Japanese, but the only symposium for remote education we started. And as he mentioned, uh, still we are not able to stop. <laughs> and, uh, now, more than 70s, uh, uh, we will show a little bit uh, later on the details about it. The Tokyo University has uh, about 5,000 lectures. Tohoku University is uh, 4,400 lectures and so on. So we, we said in those days, don't stop higher education. It is one of the biggest challenge for us. And the, we don't advertise at all so much, but uh, somehow many people came to attend our symposium, sometimes uh, more than 2,000 attendees. Uh, or when you remember precisely, uh, Zoom's maximum attendance, uh, number of the guests with Zoom, is one session is only 2,000. So we, we are six, Cisco solutions slightly bigger uh, and then that was possible. So that's why we, we used uh, extensive business for web solution. And what we said is a fail fast, fail cheap, and fail smart. This is a Zuckerberg in, the, in those days. Uh, uh, Facebook uh, present says this. The real things, similar things. This is a newspaper, actually, uh, uh, this is a Japanese newspaper, so it's almost impossible to translate. But uh, uh, when the systems went down, the student tweets, now Twitter is also changed the name to the X, so very complicated. They tweeted, oh, now the system is totally unavailable, so we, we cannot, uh, I cannot attend the class and so on and so forth. Then, it is a newspaper with a, a newspaper companies uh, watches uh, Twitter's. Oh, this is interesting. The world there and so on and so forth. In some, in the worst cases, uh, TV says TV broadcast. This university failed. In the Japanese university's education is horrible. We have to do something and so on and so forth. And that information then goes to the president of the university, and it, uh, everything is becoming the topic. So uh, we invite uh, those people and say, uh, this is not, not necessarily a serious thing and so on and so forth, because uh, this is the first time for us to receive the gigantic amount of traffic for education. Before, ed education never produced uh, traffic at all, but now the system cannot survive 
So don't worry about that. We should improve the system incrementally and so on. So and also we should do, try all together. That is our message. And one of the other interesting things that we notice is bandwidth. So I'm not sure other countries, but uh, mostly, by the way, this is midnight. Again, this is midnight. Okay. So usually people go back to the home and before going to the bed, uh, people you, you see the so-called YouTubes. Netflix is not so common, not so common in your know, country. So oh, oh, this is the highest traffic that happened. Okay? So the whole uh, uh, network capacity is determined at uh, around 11 p.m. something like that. So this is a maximum traffic. So which means that we have a space here. This is the daytime. Uh, before COVID, you can see the blue line. This is uh, before COVID lines. And this uh, blue one is shifted out to the yellow one. So what, what, what this means is uh, uh, people are not able to the companies to the so-called remote work. So that's why uh, the, the uh, business people produce this traffic amount. And then the remaining part is only this. In our country, 1,700,000 1, of the students in total. So it, what we thought is, uh, is, it, is it absorbable or not? Or not? Maybe uh, I, I said a little bit wrong. 70 million students, which includes elementary school, junior high school, and uh, high school and uh, university all together. Anyway, the student total is uh, 17 million. Uh, is it possible uh, this bandwidth is shareable with such a huge number of the people? That is uh, the big question to us. And then what I found is uh, the best way is just a screen sharing as much as possible, which means uh, MP4 for compression scheme, we are a uh, double E, so that's why we know the details about that. So the object is no, then uh, emission, uh, data emission happens. So that's why the still images are the best, uh, which means, uh, for example, uh, uh, teachers stand on a white blackboard and uh, write something and they're taking your movies, that is very bad. Uh, use uh, write the contents, uh, PowerPoint slides beforehand, and uh, use a screen sharing. That's uh, reduce uh, one tenth of the traffic. And actually, uh, uh, the, the bandwidth, uh, this available bandwidth is we should give to the more smaller kids, elementary school and so on and so forth. They are not able to understand anything without, uh, say, uh, seeing the teacher's face. Right? So, and also, if the people, economy is very bad, those business people want to use more boundaries, we should give the boundaries to them. Since the uh, university researchers is one of the most uh, intelligent, smart, uh, people's community, uh, we should be modest as much as possible. We call the, these activities for the data diet and almost all the university for guidelines. And the copyright issues, uh, copyright is possible in uh, in-press education, but the remote transmission is, uh, is totally illegal. So that's why we went to the government and eventually, uh, the very quick decision has happened from the May 1st, uh, uh, remote education is legally allowed and so on and so forth. So which means the NII is doing not necessarily just a digital solution, but uh, in order to make it happen, we pay a lot of effort to prepare the legal environment and so on and so forth. We invite uh, our foreign university people, how you are doing, and so on and so forth, how about Stanford, CMU, MIT, we learn a lot. And uh, not necessarily distant learning, 
we also you, uh, uh, try the VR space experimentation so uh, so many people uh, so many people enjoy that and by the way this running analytics is uh, uh, Ogata Sensei is expert on it. He, he worked and he researched in this area a lot. Since uh, 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 to tons of the dogs, I mean, uh, 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 before COVID, uh, not necessarily all the universities deployed the LMS, but after COVID, almost all the universities uh, employed the LMS, and that generated a huge amount of the uh, logs. This is a picture of the Kyushu universities, and I like this example. Uh, in, in the Kyushu University already deployed in 2019 is LMA, so that's why we are able to compare. In the 2019-2020 uh, comparison, this red portion is uh, uh, data attendance. Uh, student has to do some things, uh, usually traffic jams or the, uh, or railway system, the subway system of the program, especially in the, in the morning time. Uh, so that's why many students are late. But, uh, in the digital space, as you can see, is almost, uh, no late att attendance. So I think uh, uh, such kind of flexibility is one of the biggest benefits. Uh, for, and uh, this is the kind of evidence. Uh, we are able to capture such kind of behaviors. As I mentioned, uh, uh, Professor Shirai Sensei uh, of the Osaka University prepared this slide. Thank you. Thank you very much. And this is an uh, introductory uh, computer science course. And uh, it's somehow interesting, uh, I, I don't know the details, but uh, it's interesting. It's a video lectures and the hands-on practice, and it's uh, uh, intermixed. And uh, this is a system NII uh, uh, currently providing, which means uh, 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 video viewing log analytics systems. So this is a so the software system. Which, the university can upload the, the data to the NII, uh, we are able to analyze. But the uh, opposite way is also possible. Uh, this software package is exportable. So the Osaka University, you don't have to move your own data because it's a uh, uh, privacy rules. And it's, if it's, you are very keen about it, you should download this uh, uh, data processing log analytics system and you yourself analyze, whichever is possible. And uh, this is Shirai Sensei's result. Uh, this is video one, video two. If switching time, uh, a little bit uh, big uh, uh, jump. So that's why. You, you, you should uh, uh, you can you can ignore this. Uh, uh, However, uh, uh, this and this and this, uh, these are uh, there are not such kinds of uh, video changing time. This is uh, just observation, okay? So which means uh, uh, the, the content is so difficult. So that's why students stay more longer time. So vertical is is uh, staying time. So she analyzed that and uh, this is yet another uh, Visualization styles, which means that this is uh, easy content, this is difficult content. And uh, this is easy one. Easy one means uh, this is uh, uh, playback uh, speed is two times faster. So many students, since it's easy, they want to uh, view it very quickly. And this is difficult content. Uh, they uh, browse it very slowly. Uh, so by seeing this kind of uh, log analysis of visualization, uh, we are we are able to learn a lot. So yet another one is uh, grade S is a very sophisticated smart student. This is uh, in, it's a little bit uh, not good at uh, uh, studying at all. 
So behavior is somehow very, very different. I mean, you know, good students relatively carefully reading the videos and so on and so forth. And uh, recently we found some some students two times first, uh, 1.75, 1.5, 1.25, and one usual speed and so on. So, uh, so many different speed uh, uh, learning is uh, actually happening. So we could learn a lot. And uh, this is yet another interesting. Uh, 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 this is two times speed. Some students want to repetitively very quickly be used to that. But eventually, the student to care who need uh, some uh, uh, difficult or hard to understand portion they, they, uh, more carefully. This guy is uh, two times speed, but after that, uh, uh, the more three uh, learning. This one is the same, but the first part of the lecture are usually very easy, so that's why very quick. But uh, uh, the more dense uh, uh, contents, which slowly means, and this one is more uh, very interesting one. It's a uh, two times fast, but uh, gradually slowing down. And, uh, this is one point seven five, and so on, so forth. So this student is, uh, this area is uh, uh, very uh, difficult. So she uh, playbacks uh, so many times. And so this is uh, overlapping. So, uh, so there is running pattern and it's like this. So I think this suggests uh, uh, the content should be more uh, customizable. And again, with this kind of tools, uh, we are now trying to enrich collaborating with the uh, university professor as much as possible. So the, uh, basically what we want to say is share the data, share the knowledge as much as possible, and the NI are trying to be such a sharing platform for educations. Japan's a uh, huge amount of money uh, in, in invested into one uh, uh, one device. For example, uh, in, in an iPad like devices for each individual student, uh, elementary student and the junior high school. Student. And then uh, some professors is going to be more interesting. Uh, this is the video cameras, and then uh, try to capture the student's uh, uh, gaze. I mean, uh, 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 face directions and gaze directions are uh, independently captured, and the how the behavior is changing over time. This is uh, done by the Tam Tamagawa University professors. So this dot is a student. All students are looking at uh, some specific places. Yeah, this is a kind of concept we are able to understand. This is a very highly concept. And then uh, the topics is not necessarily exciting uh, for the teachers. It's not necessarily good for teaching. This uh, uh, circle is becoming bigger and bigger to divert. That is not so good. And this information is given to the teacher in online time. Then uh, he can utilize this information to improve his uh, teaching skill. So the, uh, this uh, diameter. <laughs> excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, Oh, my name. Okay. So, so this kind of uh, various tools, uh, uh, which uh, school people, school teachers are developing a work to, this might be interesting for you.
So it's a left and right. And uh, uh, left students, kids, uh, what can I say, don't focus the uh, uh, lecture at all. Right hand side is uh, they are concentrated on the, the line. So such kind of a behavior now able to be captured by this kind of video systems. We will we want to skip uh, the information about this. Actually, we uh, we did a lot of things for the uh, COVID-19 pneumonia detection AI development. So I think we are the one of the earliest in the world. So at that time, uh, what we found is uh, other countries, uh, the medical doctor doesn't or didn't share the, the pic, a lot of pictures, the MRI, CT pictures, that we are more intensively shared. So that's caused an uh, uh, increase of the question of the AI. Uh, the same thing for the uh, education system. We want to do that as much as possible. Uh, online education is becoming more and more. And uh, this is the numbers uh, of the increased student is going down. And the online people is uh, still 21, 20 minutes going down, but still a uh, lot of online students. And uh, only online universities in Mars. And this is the reason, one of the reasons in America, the tuition fee is very big. And loan debt also very increased. This is one of the drivers. And the ASU is a slightly different. Is uh, an uh, on site student doesn't change so much. The only student is increasing and so so forth. How does it do is uh, the, the fee for the first trial is very cheap, only $25 and so on so forth. I, what I want to tell is uh, this is one of the uh, interesting Western governments, but this is only online only. Uh, and uh, the cost of the, uh, getting a degree is very small compared to the usual university. So what I want to say is uh, what we learned from the COVID times. So COVID is uh, really unpredictable things for all human beings. At that time, I think uh, Japan is relatively successful transforming uh, in place education to the distant education. That is why that is happened. Why that was possible is that we try to share the noise as much as possible. Why we were able to develop uh, such uh, random pneumonia detection? So we use uh, the data as, as many hospitals as possible. So the sharing is very important. I think uh, in the education area, we, we want to pro progressively do the same things as much as possible. Now we are talking about how to handle GPT for B and how effective RPA in what context, in, in which areas we are so, so interesting and so on so forth. I think uh, such kind of knowledge sharing, uh, we, we wish to do that as much as possible with not necessarily just Japanese university, but foreign university. Thank you for your attention. Uh, Ogata-sensei, sorry about that, a little bit uh, my taking a, wrong, a little bit longer time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for the uh, yeah, interesting talk. Thank you very much. So, so we almost run, run, run out of the uh, yeah, time. So if you have questions, please ask uh, him. Uh, online, yeah. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, and uh, thank you very much. And maybe let's join me another round of the applause uh, to Professor Kitsura Kitsuregawa. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for your patience. Thank you.
もういいですかね。もういい。ありがとうございます。なんか質問があったら質問があれば今大丈夫ですけど、If you have questions。ちょっと待ってください。So he's talking about、uh, the data sharing and learning analytics and no. あのアジアの方が中心なのであのシャイな方が多いのです<笑>あんまりないとあアジアなんですかはいすみませんありがとうございましたあの来ていただけるのを楽しみにしてたのですが残念,残念ですすみません総理だったのテーブルとカウントは松江松江ズはフランクリスピーキングファーフロム東京<笑><笑> I'm already old so Uh, please allow me my absence, but、uh, I, I'm very happy、uh, Ogata Sensei is organizing this conference and it looks really successful. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. 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 Thank you very much.